Hey guys, welcome back. It is Eric from Eric's World here, back with another Lego mock building video. This time I am trying to build the Attack on Titan um, episode, uh, Season 4, Episode 1. Um, it's like a big fort with a, a, a port city and a bunch of boats out in the water over here. It is very interesting and I thought it would be uh, a really good idea to build in micro scale. Um, this is not going to be minifigure scale. This thing would be massive if I did it uh, minifigure scale. But for micro scale, I'm hoping that uh, it will look as good as I am uh, imagining it to look. Uh, so, so far, I've done a little bit of progress of trying to figure out where the fort will actually be. And trying to uh, come up with a good idea for the slope effect um, for this fort. Because there's like one massive fort coming up, or one massive slope. Uh, because it's like on a hill pretty much so we have the port city and then I gotta have like a big old slope coming up here and I think this is about five bricks taller than the plates below below here so um I need to raise this up a little bit for the the port city and then it's gonna slowly come up and come up and boom uh, so I'll be adding a lot of extra detail as soon as I get uh, all this set up uh, I'm going to finish um, moving it out, probably about to here is uh, where all the plates are going to be, like around here, uh, maybe even back a little bit because there's uh, a mountain over here. So I want to create that effect because the mountain goes from this side all the way over there to a thicker portion here. And that's the same on this side, a little bit deeper in. Um, so I'm going to have that uh, come up and, you know, a big spike Spiky Mountain pretty much leading over here. Um, so my plan for the mountain portion is like, uh, like the bottom part is like brownish tan and then it leads to somewhat green. And then we're gonna have dark tan on the top of the mountain pretty much. Um, hopefully I have enough parts for that. I, I have a good selection of parts so far, so let, let's hope that it works out. But uh, yeah, right now I'm just going to be working on this, uh, and I'll, I'll probably give you guys a progress update in a few days. Uh, hopefully I'm able to get some more done. Um, I do have tomorrow off from work, so I'm going to try and uh, attempt to finish off the outline here. going to finish off this back portion, and then um, probably lead down into uh, the the uh, the city portion here and uh, my plan is to you know just use all these filler plates and then um, add to it a after like all the details so all the tan because it's pretty much tan and trenches uh, and the railway I'm pretty sure like a railway leads all the way down from over here and there's also a railway that is like a complete uh, circumference of the whole uh, fort by the way Oops. By the way, the fort is a circle, so that is going to be a little difficult to do in Lego, but um, I think I can pull it off. Uh, I just need to get the right color for the, the wall, and uh, we'll, we'll make it happen. So that's all for right now. See you guys in a second for next clip. Well, guys, it's been about a month uh, since the last clip, which was December 14th. I haven't had a chance to really work on the mock at all throughout the last month. But I finally tonight was able to get a lot done and I am pretty happy with the progress. Though I want to try and uh, get some more done here soon. Finish uh, off like this major portion so I can get started on the rock work uh, moving up and then you know over to the sea pretty much. So um, I was able to get the train track set up. Uh, I'll be adding extra detail to that here soon uh, to kind of you know make it easy to be known as a train track and then there will be probably a train on this side i think that's what i'm going to have set up um and i'm going to probably put some monkers uh along the uh, defender side here soon um in one of the art photos i see uh bunkers being on this side where the attackers are um so that doesn't seem right so i'm just going to put the bunkers where I believe they should be for the defenders. So I'm gonna do that. Um, but it's looking pretty nice so far. I'm really happy with um, you know, the the train layout. Uh I'll get the rest of this filled in as soon as I get the um uh the trenches done. So once the trenches are done, fill in the center here. Fort will be one of the last things I will finish up and uh we'll 
fill in probably this center here and then extra detail will come in later on. I'll, you know, build out the trenches completely, put all the uh, different tiles and such that I'll have in there. But uh, after that, I'll be um, building the rock work, get the, uh, the mountains set up on either side and then bring it towards the coast so that we can uh, kind of start from the top and work the way work our way down pretty much is uh the idea that i'm having so far for this uh in order to make it work um i am not really sure if i have enough bricks at all for this but um i'm going to be sorting through what i have here soon so i can try and uh, accomplish as much as i can but that's all for right now see you guys in a second for next clip well guys i accomplished quite a bit tonight i uh did a lot more on the mark and I am almost there to having this little section done so that I can get on over to the mountains and such and uh, make those look nice. Um, of course, I'll be coming back later on to add the extra detail to make this look even better. But for right now, this is what I was able to accomplish before I have to sort through some more filler brick. All my yellow bricks I need um, sorted away because all the red is gone. I don't have anything left. It's crazy. Um, I was able to it's like a full bucket, I'm pretty sure, of red bricks to just use as filler brick here. So that's pretty crazy, but it's looking pretty nice right now. No more holes on this side, this side, uh, just on that side. So I got to fix that up, uh, get that filled in. And also, if I didn't mention it before, this is all modular. So you can see I just pulled that one piece out. Later on, I will have little connector parts that will just like connect this together so it wasn't won't slide away, um, kind of like what I have for these first six up here, so that those don't slide away. But it's kind of pushing over there. I gotta get those connectors in here soon. And here, I want to show you something. I don't know how this happened, but it lines up perfectly on this side and the other side. So I don't know why there's one extra stud. I can show you in there. Um, it looks like, I, I have no idea if it overhangs or what, but you know, it, it lines up. Um, that might have been an error on my part, but I, I guess it still works. So that's, that's totally fine with me. So, um, but yeah, we're, we've done quite a bit and uh, looking forward to getting started on the mountain, hopefully uh, by tomorrow night on the live stream. I got to sort through all the bricks though first. So hopefully it doesn't take me too long on the live stream. So that is all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Tune in for a couple days from now uh, for the next update and I'll see you in the next one.